I am Dave Morris. Thanks for clicking on the play. Coming up in today's episode, a Metro charter school is under investigation. And we'll learn why one city is closing its public storm shelters. But first, we turn our attention to Washington, D.C. and the looming debt ceiling and here with more information. Nick Tragakis from the Oklahoma's Newsroom. Thanks for your time today. Yeah. Our man in Washington has been busy today. Yeah, the big deadline now coming up as we as we plow into the second week of the federal government shutdown is the uh, debt ceiling deadline. That's kind of the hot term right now. It's October 17th. Um, the, the federal government needs to work out a budget agreement by then or the country faces essentially a default on its debts. Um, Chris Castile, our reporter in Washington, uh, got on the line with Tom Coburn and Tom Cole today, two of our Republican representatives. And what was interesting was that they actually took different sides of the argument on the debt ceiling. Um, uh, Coburn said, let's just go ahead and let it expire, let it pass. Uh, if anything, it'll have minimal impact and it'll actually force the leaders in, in Washington to get serious about cutting down the country's deficit and finding different spending controls. Tom Cole took the opposite side of the coin, uh, saying that it would be a really bad thing to happen. We need to buckle down and reach an agreement before we get to that deadline. So even within the Republican Party, you're seeing some differences in opinion. And uh, Chris is going to dig a little deeper into that. And we spoke with Chris via Skype earlier today. You can catch that video online at newsok.com. Moving on, an Oklahoma City charter school is under investigation. It's a story our Tim Willard is working on. What can you tell us? Yeah, this is Harper Academy. Um, it's a recently new charter school in Oklahoma City. Uh, it was championed by former Superintendent Carl Springer. And what we're learning now is that the Oklahoma, Oklahoma City School Board is investigating the school. Apparently they've had some pretty bad uh, academic and financial mismanagement. The principal was fired. They've brought in a, uh, a retired principal from the district to come and try to pick up the school and rally and save it. Um, Tim has heard things like they don't have proper fire sprinklers there. They may not have enough computers for all the students. It sort of looks like uh, the school has never really had the right sort of foundation to educate students properly. Um, and thus you get an investigation by the school board that Tim is digging into right now. All right, and one last story to tell you about involves emergency storm shelters and they're being closed in Norman. Yeah, Norman is sort of the latest city to, to come on this trend of, of shuttering their uh, community storm shelters. And we've seen this in other cities, such as Oklahoma City, I believe. Yeah, and down in Norman, the fire department uh, recommended to the city council that they discontinue the use of public storm shelters. Uh, the argument from the fire department was it's actually not any safer to have these because what's going to happen inevitably is that people will, will hear the sirens and rush out of their house into their cars and try to get to these shelters. What the fire department in Norman is saying is that you're better off staying in your house, you know, getting to your, to your middle room, getting in the bathtub with the mattress if you don't have a storm shelter, then you are hopping in your car and heading out into the storm where you're pretty much unprotected. Uh, they made that recommendation and the Norman City Council made the decision this week to go ahead and, and close those storm shelters. All right, very good. That's a story our Jane Glenn Cannon is working on. Nick, thanks for your time today. We appreciate it. These stories can be found in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and online at newsok.com. Uh, have a great night, everybody.